Okay, our learning objective is I recognise different angles. This is a really easy one, it's a really quick one. There are only three things that you're going to need to know about this. But first of all, let's understand what an angle is. An angle is the point where two sides come together. So, angles are everywhere. If I pick up this trusty tray of mine, we can see here is an angle. I've got a side and a side come together. This in here is known as an angle. There are angles everywhere. I put my arm out like this, this point here and this point here, here is an angle, okay? Now, we can measure those angles using something called a protractor, but that's not what we're doing today. We're trying to recognize what type of angle we are looking at. So, where are our angles again? They are everywhere. They are so important, okay? These are sort of things that you, you don't even recognize on a daily basis, but you notice when you start to look, they're everywhere. I bet if you look around your house now, you can spot angles everywhere. I can see them on the corner of this wonderful flag. I can see them here where the St. Patrick's cross uh, intersects with the St. Andrew's cross. I can see that there are angles all over here. In the clock, uh, bring that down for you. I can see that it's saying 10 minutes to 7, but in between the hour hand and the minute hand, I can see that there is an angle. Uh, there are angles all over the place. You look up on the, I'm not going to be able to put that back up. You look on the roof in your house, the ceiling, sorry, in your house. You look in the corners of your room, have a look at your television. You're going to see angles all over the place. Um, they're big in business, okay? If you want to get yourself a space rocket, up and into space, which don't forget is a billion pound industry, something that you could enter. Getting that space rocket off the ground is all about the angles, the angles of trajectory. Thinking about how you can get it to come out of the, uh, the planet Earth, what angle it's going to head off, okay, whether it's going to go to the moon, how it's going to rotate around it, all of this is to do with angles and mass, okay? Really important. You might think to yourself, well, I'm not interested in rockets, maybe you're into sports, okay? Kicking a football is all about angles, okay? Coming in and which angle you're going to knock it at is all about what we are talking about here, okay? You, people are thinking about angles all the time. It's really important that you know the difference between, to start with, these three main ones, okay? Now, this is probably the most common angle you're going to see around your house. I bet if you have a little look around now and you pop your partner, you'll be able to find this. It is a 90 degree angle and it is called a right angle, okay? A right angle. It is 90 degrees. It's all over the place. It is the corner of a square or a rectangle. A right angle. Can you go like this? Right angle! Okay, that is a right angle. Right angle! Okay, it is 90 degrees. Have a little spot around your house. Tell your partner or someone you're working at. Can you find five right angles in the room right now? Go, pause. Okay, I bet you can find them everywhere. Whenever I'm looking, look here, piece of paper, it's got a right angle. Okay, here is a, a, a book, it's got a right angle. There is a TV, it's got a, a right angle. You probably can't see that on your screen. Your windows are probably covered in right angles. They're everywhere, okay? Big, big, big thing. Now, this is less than a right angle. It is smaller than a right angle. And you know what? I like small little things. I think they look really cute, okay? Little, little thing, okay? So actually, we call this an acute angle. Can you say acute? Acute! Yeah, it is less than 90 degrees, so it's anywhere between 0 and, and uh, 89 degrees or 89.9 degrees, um, and it is an acute angle because it is nice and small. Say acute! So we've got so far up the top, we've got right angle, we've got these smaller ones, acute angle, and Whoa, now we've got this one here, and I'll tell you what, that is one big angle. It's more than 90 degrees. It's a little bit on the large size, potentially a little bit obese, okay? And we're going to call this an obtuse. Sounds a bit like obese, doesn't it? Obtuse, when it's really big. Can you say obtuse? So we've got right angle, 90 degrees. We've got acute angle, and we've got obtuse angle. Okay, what I'd like you to do now, can you go around your house, can you find for me three things that have obtuse angles, three things that have acute angles, and three things that have right angles. 
I'll tell you what I'd like you to do for one of your homeworks. I want you to take a picture of each of those items. So I want a collection of acute angles, which are these small ones here. I want a collection of acute angles, less than 90 degrees. I want a collection of right angles, and I want a collection of obtuse angles. Okay, and just before we go and finish this video, I am going to create for you a, a little test uh, just so that we can see that you are recognizing these angles successfully. Okay, you don't need to know exactly what the angle is, but you should kind of be able to tell just from looking at it what sort of angle we are dealing with. Okay, little test. For you there, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, off you go, pause. Now you're back, let's just check that we've got this right. We've of course, A is an, an acute angle, this is an obtuse, obtuse angle. This looks like a, a right angle. Uh, over here we've got another obtuse angle. We've got another acute, 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 and um, a right angle down there. Okay, that was a little test just to check you around it. So remember your homework, I want you to find me three right angles, three acute angles and three obtuse angles. I want a photo of them and I want you to send me an email. Okay, get that email to me. I'm not having a lot of emails of your work so let's get it over. Year three at uk. Remember there are no spaces. And if you want to have a look on the school website, you'll find the email address there as well. Okay, off you go.